Welcome back guys. In this video we will be talking about chromosomal mutations. We have been talking about mutations for a long time and we have seen many different varieties of mutation, types of mutation and we have seen the different examples of the mutation. Now mutation can occur depending upon the occurrence or the organization on in cell can be of two different type. One is a chromosomal mutation, another one is a genetic or DNA mutation. DNA or gene mutation always maximum time occurs in the single base level or single nucleotide level. So they are termed as point mutation. On the other hand, the mutation that take place in the chromosomal level are much bigger mutation that majorly most of the time occurs in a kind of stretch of nucleotide problems. Those things are called as chromosomal mutation that can occur due to uh, physical forces you know chemical agents can do the trick but physical forces occur more because during the segregation of chromosome in anaphase chromosome hands can be broken and all these things can occur that things are the part of the DNA structural problems and structural mutations. So let us talk about here about the chromosomal structural problem and structural mutation because what we know about eukaryotic chromosome it has something like this the structure of eukaryotic chromosome with a centromere in it right short arm long arm that is the structure of this chromosome and if you look at this chromosome it is consisting of let us say let us say different chromosomes are there these are the homologous pair of a chromosome so there will be non homologous type so let me draw a non homologous chromosome there so let us say this one is a non homologous type so this blue and green are non homologous to each other blue blue homologous green green also homologous so non homologous there are pairs are also present there so if you look at these are the two different set of chromosomes now if there is any change between the the genetic element there in the chromosome it will be termed as mutation because mutation means there is a change in the genetic element change in the gene sequence which can be inherited or may not be inherited but actually it will reflect in the phen I mean physiological effect it should reflect onto the phenotype of that organism okay so in this case also in case of chromosomal mutation we we know different modes of chromosomal structural aberrations so we are going to talk about the chromosomal structural changes so what are the those different types of changes that we are going to see here so let's say one type so let me actually this this for understandings sake we just do a large chromosome here like that so what are the different kind the first one we are going to talk about here is termed as the deletion deletion mutation now the deletion mutation in chromosome means a segment of the chromosome can be deleted from it now there are different reasons for all these deletions additions substitutions and all these things the reasons are i have told you the physical forces the segregation process during the cell division and all this pathway but the process will remain the same and the deletion of a chromosome segment mean that part of the chromosome consisting of a certain amount of genes and DNA. So those gene and DNA will be lost. Now this type of problems and missing out of the chromosome portion occurs many times during cell division it may occur but actually the chromosome that we see in eukaryotic cell that chromosome consists of 98 percent of the junk materials that means the 98 percent of the genetic material present there they do not code for any functional proteins right so if the mutation occurs there we do not have any problem we do not need to worry about much but if the mutation occurs in the region where the genes are functional we need to worry right so here we have deletion in deletion what we know the segment of the gene is released so for example here this is the part of the segment that is released outside so after that what we have here we have this chromosome and for understanding of this process I am drawing this black dots here so then what we have we have two black dots corresponding very close to each other and like this so this chromosome becomes this this is due to deletion because this part of the segment of the chromosome is deleted okay 
Now, the second thing that may occur is similarly addition. So, just imagine this situation. This is the situation and this is the segment of a chromosome coming from somewhere else and it is placed right between this two band and now what we get a fully functional chromosome. So, in the opposite orientation we got addition. So, addition and deletion these two things can be seen. Now, the third thing that we can see the third type of mutation we can see here are called as substitution. I mean let us say it is called an inversion let us talk about inversion first. So, let us put it here let us talk about inversion. Now, what do you mean by inversion? If I draw this chromosome again say this is a chromosome the segment of that chromosome for example, this is the stretch of the chromosome in this direction this arrow will help you to understand the process. So, this is the segment of chromosome which gets dissociated from the chromosome. So, let us draw that section. Right? Let us draw it. So, this is the segment of the chromosome dissociated, then it is inversed, I mean reversed 180 degree. So, what it will look like after the reversal of 180 degree? It will look something like this. Is not it? So, the arrow will rotate 180 degree and then this structure will be replaced to the same location from where it is cut. So, after that how it will look like? It will look something like this. looks something like this. So, you can see the number of genes that are present. For example, let us say the gene number A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, after this inversion of only C and D gene, they are the part of the place, part of the chromosome that is getting inversed. So, here what we have? We have A, B, then we have D, C, then the rest of the EF. So, it is getting inversed right? that is called the inversion of the chromosome. Now, why we are talking about all this, this deletion, this addition, this inversion. Now, all these things they creates difference in the chromosome because this inversion you know the gene segment the sequence of the gene is changed, it is altered. So, as a result the functionality of the chromosome may change. For example, the, due to this alteration during the recombination process, there might be some issues, might be some problems. So, that is why all these things that are not natural, normal. So, they can lead to production of variation just like any other mutations. Now, the, the fourth kind that I am going to talk about involves a different set of chromosome because whatever we have seen till now, it all occurs in the same chromosome, single chromosome. This is the chromosome deletion from that chromosome, chromosome addition in the same chromosome and also inversion in the same chromosome. But we have the last kind here that is called the translocation that is called the chromosomal translocation. Translocation involves two different set of so here comes one set one chromosome and here comes another non homologous chromosome for that. So, what translocation means a segment from one particular chromosome will be cut and it will be inserted. So, actually let us do it from this side. Let us cut this from this region. So, this is the portion of chromosome that is being cut and will be inserted in this non homologous chromosome and vice versa. That means, both so, the cut of the chromosome occurs in both the chromosomes and they swap the segment with each other that is called translocation. Trans means transfer between themselves, location means changing of the location and between those two chromosomes. So, this is how it looks like. So, after this process how it will look like? It will look something like this. I may draw here, I must actually it will look. 
like this. This and here. here. So it will look something like this. So you can see here the structural differences. I mean the segment of this chromosome now we attached to that chromosome, the segment of the second chromosome attached with the first chromosome, right? So it's a very basic kind of example I've shown you because I've took the part from the telomere region and swap it. But actually it may occur in any region from the chromosome. And not necessarily mean that same amount of chromosome will be taken from each of the chromosomes. It might have that this chromosome provides more sequence, but this chromosome provides very less sequence. Now, if they provide same amount of chromosome sequence to be swapped or translocate, in that case, that type of translocation is called as balanced, balanced translocation. In that case, it will be termed as balanced translocation. For example, in this case, this is an example of balanced translocation between the non-homologous chromosome. Okay. So these are the four major type of chromosomal mutation that we can observe in a cell. Now, in all these cases, the changes, the sequence of the gene, they change and alter the gene. After the deletion of this, those genes, the chromosome can become functionless or something like that. So, these things may occur all the time, guys, right? So, that's kind of it and I hope that's helpful. If you like the video, please subscribe and there are a lot of other videos regarding the mutation you can watch in my channel. So, here is the link. You can click on the link and watch them anytime you want.